some other stuff. So yes, teleported in the town. The town's full of fog. Uh, it's it's very funny and coincidental that Michael and Jewel have trouble on that one because the uh, fog makes has been making people uh, forget things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, it does. It is a uh, very interesting magic. You guys were taking a long rest the last time uh, that you, I believe. I don't. I made it. Well, we did. I was making sure of how many hit points I had left. So I feel. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, no. You didn't regain any hit points during your long rest. A mysterious energy fills the cave. You seem unnaturally unable to recover. Dun dun dun! But um, anyway, to introduce our new characters, you know, I'm gonna let them define their background stuff on their own. However, to start off with, guess who took a tumble down an ice hole? And so to explain that, in order to track this, uh, you know, new fog, another pair of uh, unwitting adventurers have made their way to what was essentially, if you look to the right here, a hole in the ground. Inside of a hole in the ground. It was Holeception. <laughs> Holeception. Whoa, we're getting too deep now. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just fun. It, it's all good. Uh, so the first thing you gotta do is uh, determine between yourselves how it is you were to descend this hole, good people. And that would be Gamma and Nagi coming in with their characters, hopefully. This so, is... so we're trying to get down this hole. Basically. Wait, I'm trying to get down this hole? Also, yes. The, the two of us are kind of a party together unless you would together. like okay. to be a singular if you want to like be two people who all both randomly came in through the hole at the same that's, time that's not, so we so we fell through this hole and now we're trying to just come down this hallway or we're trying to get down the hole specifically? i think you would still be trying to something <laughs> so basically under the same aspirances of them you are in the area of the hole which is surrounded by a fog which drains energy and causes people to forget things Depending, obviously, on a roll check. Except okay. for fucking Michael. And, and we know that it makes people forget things? I'm gonna say that you've spent enough time getting to this hole that you have... Uh, it took our characters a while. But you, you have surmised something. Because I'm, I'm okay. hoping you guys are maybe a little smarter than our current band. <clears throat> Got you. Ow. That oh, hurt. Okay. Am I wrong? Hurt. Am I wrong? <laughs> But am I wrong though? But am I right, Joey? <laughs> and and who is the pink? So I believe that would be me, Nara. Nara, yes. Nara, yes. Mm -hmm. And and how do I know Nara? Did we come here together? I'm going to say, you know what? I'm actually going to say that you both met at the top of the hole, and assumed that you knew each other and forgot each other because of the fog. I'm okay with this. Uh, so Nara, I pretty much look like that picture. Do you see that picture? You need me to explain uh, it? Let me zoom in a little bit. You're like, I'm, okay, gotcha. You're like yeah, a skeleton I'm, man. Sort of. I'm a I'm a halfling who has his face all chalked up. Okay. Um, I look extremely like a duelist, but I have a tombstone on my left arm. It's kind of strapped to it like a shield. Okay. Okay. Um, and I kind of have a jaunt to my walk. Um, but I, once I see you, I'm assuming you're from your picture. You're human female. Yeah, so I am a I'm a human female. That's that is her. So um, very light blonde hair, almost it's... almost white. Um, she has a shield as well, um, and she is also she also always has a book underneath her arm. Um, yes. She's got uh, some like pockets on her uh, on her belt as well as some like tube things on her gauntlets. Um, and she's wearing some chainmail and 
as a mace as well. And she's just she just walks like a normal human. She has no gaunt to her. Okay. I would make a flourish with my hat and a slight bow. I would. Hello. I would. I, I would. Curtsy. <laughs> I find myself a bit lost. She pulls out her book. She writes in it, and she shows it to you, and it says, "Me too." Oh, um, and, and she does like the, oh, I totally forgot. She pulls out a piece of paper from one of her satchels, hands it to you, and it reads, Hello, I am Nera. Um, I am a cleric, but I have no voice. So this is why I speak through my book. Fold up the piece of paper, hand it back. Very well. I guess that means our uh, nights in the tavern will be nice and quiet. Uh... I guess we have two options before us. We either head back or we go further in. And I don't know about you, but I always find going further in is a bit more uh, adventurous. She, she turns to a specific page in her book and just points to the word yes. I, I draw my rapier and start walking into the tunnel. Now, you said I'm slightly aware that this smoke is kind of messing with my head, right? Yee. Okay. So I'm going to put my shield in front of me, trying to make myself like bigger surface area in front and try to move very quickly so that she can move in my wake. Okay. Uh, before uh, he goes, I'm going to halt him for a second. I'm going to pull out a small scroll from one of the uh, one of the pouches on my on my uh, gauntlet. I'm going to give him a kiss on the forehead and I'm going to give him guidance. Alrighty, give me one moment to goddamn remember what guidance does. Uh, you touch one rolling creature before it's a cantrip. Once before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to an ability check. I love it because you guys always use stuff that nobody uses. No one ever uses guidance. Not these guys, at least. <laughs> Should. I I will tell you that Nera is a strictly support character. That's okay. And. You use the protective ones, but not the boosty ones. <laughs> you you okay. use tanky defense ones. You are a shield. Uh, well, Jewel will use shieldy ones and stuff, but she does not use like, you know, buffs to like checks ones. And which I know you have them. I looked at your. I mean, she's fine. She can prepare spells. That's why she just just has an alternate to them. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I. The entire time that Jewel was doing the recap, I was like, oh crap, I have to prepare spells. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 because paladins and clerics, they get yep. that lovely path, beautiful path. Yep. They, they, you know, there's So just... I try to move quickly enough where I'm, I'm creating a, a bit of a wake, hopefully, okay. um, but try to get through the, through the uh, smoke. And I keep repeating in my head, forward, don't forget, forward. Don't forget okay. over and over and over and over. Alrighty, and uh, where are you? <clears throat> where are you running exactly? I am moving. Fair enough. Where are you moving exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm moving. I would assume south. I, I don't if I I can't. So uh, with here. your uh, no, what you you can't do it yet. All right, that's right. I have to add those exactly in. But yeah. uh, what you can do to show where you want to move for now, at least, also so you can track movement, is with your ruler is a good I way to show movement direction and pathing. Wait a minute. Can I just say, wait a but, minute, hold the vote, Axel. What do yes. you mean I don't use anything that would buff? I mean, I have bless. And I have use it. Um, so, again, complete noob here. For, to roll 20 but i don't see a ruler so the rules so my bad it looks it's they changed it It used to look like a fucking ruler too and now they changed the stupid circle it's under the magnifying glass if you click it no. it's a little uh i i it's that zoom no it's that you know that circle that looks like a they stuck power symbol it? yeah it's un, under the magnifying glass sorry the one yeah. Below the magnifying glass. I, I have snap to center, snap yep, to corner. Yep, that's that's it's the one. If you grab it, it has a little ruler. There we go. I got yeah. it. 
it it used to be called ah, okay. it used to be called ruler and it used to look just like a ruler and then they changed it <laughs> so i am i am moving 25 feet because that is my movement however gotcha. i don't want to go over that hole if i see it i don't want to go over it i don't have any special vision so okay. i'm gonna go this direction and then this Neither direction Okay, there is, uh, unfortunately, no lighting down in this area. Currently, actually, I cannot remember. When you guys moved through that area, did you light the area in um, any way? I uh, am not 100% sure if I actually... All right, well, not you guys. Sorry, the party before. Also, you guys, if you guys chose to light up the area once you got in the area. In which case, you would, uh, you would be able to see that hole, which is actually like a puddle. Well, uh... Gotcha. So, I don't have torches. Oof. Big and um, I also need to know whether or not I am or am not riding my dog. Fair enough. <laughs> Did you bring your dog down into this hole? And if so, how? I tell my dog where to go and then I fall asleep on it. Does your dog remember you? Oh, God. Yeah, it affects everything. The fog <laughs> affects everything. Even, I will say this to let you guys know out of context, but it, you know... Donnie is affected by the fog. <laughs> as well as a certain thing that um, was yeah. part of the reason why we had a food shortage. Cough. So I, I'm leaving it up to I'm leaving it up to our glorious DM. You know what? I am giving the 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 I'm giving the I'm I I am going to uh, say that because yes someone else had to be left at the entrance of this hole because they were unable okay. to be brought down however the reason they weren't able to be brought down was mostly because of a certain weight limit so i think okay. that your animal would so, technically but so i am fumbling around you are unfortunately fumbling around on foot not used to it having said okay. that that is not to say that somehow something some ways somehow we might see a dog later so then I am moving at half speed to be careful, and I'm going to go, because uh, it's 25, so roughly here. Because I'm assuming I'm going to move here, see that there's a hole, then come this way, and then wall, and then continue. That is fine. I will Once also... I find a wall, I'm just going to follow the wall. I will also say, for context, you see, uh, and I have to remember this. Oh, well, no, it's been a long rest, so you wouldn't see this anymore. Uh, well, I'm and it depends too on you. Yeah, yeah. Try and find the first wall I can, and yep. then follow with my right hand. That sounds like a good idea. You uh, are able to quickly find that wall because I feel like moving in a direction, uh, you know, that's random, but at the same time, you know, you could kind of tell when there's something in front of you by both noise and uh, airflow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You guys are level five adventurers. You're no noobs to caves. It's not your first cave. You've been in the dark before. So I assume you guys can find a uh, wall. So you are so definitely able to I get there. With my right hand. Um, I do try and use my shield arm, my left hand, to try and make sure that uh, Nira behind me is at least within touching contact. So that way we don't lose each other. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be, I'll just have my shield out as well. And I'll be just holding onto his or just touching it just to make sure. I have now put your character on your page. You can drag your character from your character sheet onto the page. It might be giant again, I warn you in advance. Yay! Big Nera. And somehow I ended up with another of these. Oh, oh, she's not big. I can control the left one. I can't control the right one. The right one is gone now. He's He, he was a mirror image of yourself projected across the fog, tricking your mind off I'm gonna go back to this so no one knows Cough. Yeah, and that you know that's a perception thing. Cough that they didn't know about yet. Cough trap. Cough spoilers. 
I mean, it was already triggered already once, right? Who says it's not gonna get triggered again? Maybe. I walk straight for I I, I walk straight south from, from once I find the wall again. I follow the wall with my right with my right hand. All Alrighty. So we're just making a thing. Once you unfortunately gain access to right about here, because once again, no light. Actually, you guys would be lit up over here, right, in your resting place. Are you? Because otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see, right? In fact, none of only one of you, I think, has dark vision. Actually, yeah. no, we kept yeah. your dark vision. Yeah. I was gonna say I have dark vision. Don't I had to cheat. remember if I kept it for you. All right, we made some <laughs> major changes to your character that would not fit on any goddamn character sheet made alive. Because of reason, cough, cough. Cough. Invar heavily coughing. Yeah, we need more coughs. We need a lot of coughs. Hey, we don't judge my fucking character. I'm he judging your. I mean, I didn't say he wasn't. He's not very smart, though. <laughs> and that's just a fact. Yeah, let's go with that fact. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys because at this point, it is contextual. There should be light. Uh, so once you get around to where you're at, you can see the ground and stuff. And once you get to there, you're going to unfortunately have to make, I believe, a reflex roll. Okay. Ooh. Don't mess it up. Oh! Wait a minute. Nah, nah, Nagi gets to re-roll as a halfling. Yeah. There oh you go. God. Automatic re-rolls. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> wow. He, he was so angry. That's why I was so happy to see it, because no one knows but i get to see you guys when those interactions are coming i already knew he hated that about her character so once you were like oh i gotta have oh yeah this is gonna be great all right all right i got an 11. i'm adding it to my character as a hatred for half i feel like that should oh one second guys i gotta take a call but that is fine uh unfortunately someone's getting smacked uh the 26 is a save though but i Me? Little old me? Yeah. I'm a swift foot. Pat Lightfoot! <laughs> yes. Tiny foot shit. <laughs> oh, God, that is, that's horrible. I can almost see her as like, nope. Done. Nope, I'm done. Done with halflings and everything that they stand for. What's wrong with halflings? Halflings are amazing. Nope, nope, fuck halflings. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them with a goddamn cactus in the face. My 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 brother is playing uh, a halfling, but he's also like the wizard that does that has like that. Um, at the beginning of the day, you can roll a natural twenty, and then you can just make your roll that at any point. And he's like rolled natural twenties like so many times using that that his DM just like wants him dead. S sorry about that. Got a call from someone, but they didn't. Yeah, they weren't actually talking. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, as you pass that threshold, flames shoot from both sides of the wall. Can I, can I roll athletics? Uh, you can if you want to take an extra dodge attempt from the thing. That was a... Well, which, I thought my 26 win. Yes, you definitely did. You're good. So then that's yep. what I was going to say. Is Now you what you can do... With that high roll is decide basically where you roll because oh, no, i'm moving I'm, i, I want to roll forward and then because i see these guys i'm gonna roll forward take off my hat and say good eve <laughs> i want to let you know they all just woke up so they look groggy as fuck especially the duck uh, it's another fucking half quack and uh nara i apologize for this that flame also you're gonna need to ro roll one more square forward my good sir nagi I'm okay with this. Yeah. Boop. Uh, Nero, unfortunately, was not quite as quick on her feet and catches a flaming hot 22 damage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Big motherfucking oof. What the Wait. F? That's more than half my damage. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Do, okay. do I feel it? Do, it? Does she feel warm behind? Me? Oh yeah, your your butt <laughs> yeah. currently feels like you were just sitting on sand in the middle of the summer Sahara. 
and you have lost your guidance, sir. I, uh... Yeah, damage. I, uh, I, I, I turn around to her and start patting her off. With a little smoke coming off of her, I make sure it's all out. <laughs> a little smoke at 22 damage. She might need some skin crafts. Um, if it makes you, you feel did. any better, there's somebody else on the side of that bridge that can relate. I, I, I kind of bite my finger a little bit, and then I point at, point at like, around her face, and I go, you did say, you did write that you were a cleric, right? Uh, and at that point, I am going to... Uh... Just go ahead and pull out another scroll, uh, kiss the scroll, which will then uh, yep. be a healing word. It, like the scroll actually has like, the as yes, I the kiss it, it yeah. dematerializes and kind of burns up. I want to then... also say that while she doesn't say anything, you hear the the whisperings on the wind of the the spell somatic components that you would need for whisp for the for the healing word. Just it. But it's not coming from her. Right. It's the wind. Uh, so I need to do this. I'm doing it at first level because it's weird. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, did I say healing words? I meant cure wounds. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I will, I will accept that substitution because you need that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am a, uh, I'm sorry about that. I was trying to hopefully give you guys some help from it there was a little help but at the end of the day reflex rolls are reflex rolls and with his 24 plus the um spell cast modifier cure wounds is 1d8 at least plus for me yes uh, it's 1d8 1 plus, well, 1 plus 4 is 5 and then i have something about my cuz i'm the life domain uh, when you get, whenever you cast a spell first level or higher the creature gains an additional hp equal to two plus the spell's level so i get eight back that sounds correct okay above half said oh, it's yeah. everybody saw that burning uh you know it's also a pretty loud the, to give some context right let's just pull out my little ruler here that flame shoots from here to here, and from here to here. And and the so it's a the cone I of saw fly, fire coming. I immediately covered up my book. Very good. I feel like that is such an ingrained part of your character that you do not need a roll for that. Yeah. That would basically be instinct for you at that point. Yes. Yeah. I turn to the rest of the party. Take a step forward. Realizing they're all waking up. I suppose it's good morning. I'm John. This is my compatriot, Nira. I stand up and I wave with a nice smile. Sam <laughs> waves rubbed. back all tired like. I'm going to wave slow, realizing what it's being this very much. Oh, you got to see that back. Yeah, I'm just brushing off ash at this point. You're, ah. Clean you up. Make you pretty. She, she makes pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you change? Do you change her smell? No. Yeah, it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's cool. I like the smell of burnt popcorn. <laughs> burnt uh, hair. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. I will do that. <laughs> Fine. I will do that. It's uh, a little bit. Better. It's like we all have to smell it. I can't remember who here got smacked with one of those. I think it was, was it not you, Diffie? No, um, because, because was... he got pushed out of the way. Oh, that's that right. Someone me. took the that sack. So that was I'm me not... that got burnt. <laughs> I'm not sure I had gotten damaged earlier, because on d, d Beyond, I have currently 26. Oh, you might not have ever updated it when you last long rested. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're, I'm not going to lie, Diffie. Uh, 
I enjoy your RP greatly. You do a good job, but uh, you don't keep track of your uh, your page too well. <laughs> Me too. That's all right. I'm bad at I'm bad at things. Pretty much everything. Technology dippy. Me technology don't work. I could yeah. I could RP, but technology no. <laughs> well, anyways. I'm going to uh, ignore the other two that showed up, and I'm going to focus my attention on these uh, jar-like pedestal thingies on the diagram. I am not going to ignore the duck that is in a dungeon. Do any of them look earthy crunchy? Earthy crunchy? Yeah, like ranger, druid, something along those lines. Like from the woods. Guidesmen. Are, are you talking about our characters? Yeah. No, I I wear like I wear metal armor, I have chain mail underneath, and I'm wearing like leather straps and all that kind of stuff with some nice purple cloth from underneath. I don't I don't look very I look more civilized than natural. And, and Chloe looks like a paladin. What does Zane look like? Uh, more or less, actually. She's wearing chainmail, but she's not wearing, uh, her weapon of choice is her, like, her axe is actually on her belt and it's kind of set free. <laughs> When you look at Zane, you'll see him wearing studded leather armor and has two daggers on his hips. Sam looks like I dream a genie in a, mixed with a galaxy. So none of you look like you would own a duck, for instance. No. No, definitely. That, that's, no a, that's a very duck. rude assumption. And you know <laughs> what happens when people assume things? They're assholes. I point at the duck and go, are, are you guys preparing for breakfast? No, no one eats Donnie. Quack? Uh, no, no, that's it's Donnie. okay, Donnie. We won't let him. He, he keeps a lot of us up on this trip. Nero walks, Nero walks up and ducks down and just starts patting Donnie on the head. Donnie nuzzles into your hand happily. Quack. Sam looks like, oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie happily hops on your shoulder. Hey, now I have two characters that are totally different with Donnie. I think that's a fun. <laughs> I think it's insanely funny that one of your characters just, just cannot stand Donnie, and the other one is just like, "Hi, Donnie." And Donnie's like, "Hey," because Donnie, I don't know, Donnie's the same way. Donnie's like, "Hey, I like you." You know what, Nara? You're all right. So, so does anybody remember why we're down here? Hashtag everybody roll. What are we rolling? Yes. I forgot. You start with a uh, fortitude. So what is that going to be? A con roll? Con roll. I, I, I'm oh, so wow. used to three five still. I'm sorry. It's ingrained in me forever. Played too many years. But yes, you're gonna make the uh, you're gonna make the con save. Ooh. That is a big oof. There's a bunch of oof. Oof. Did everybody oof? I got a nine. And and then Chloe. Yep. At least he didn't that was for wisdom. No, that's for wisdom. Yeah, then could then you need to make a wisdom save. Oh. oh. Then a I don't. Ah, there you go. Which, which here's a fun yeah. fact for you. No, here's a fun. Here's a nice fun little fact. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll put my okay. in chat for that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. You know, I I try to listen for him, and you're usually. Pretty, I'm usually able to hear them, but I did not yeah, hear that one. But yeah, a bit more talking, so it, it might be better. If I Appreciate it. Uh, uh, Diffy, you uh, gain a level of exhaustion. <laughs> so, uh, fortunately, I will say that wh when you slept, all of your guys' levels of exhaustion were removed. Cool, so now I just have one. Yes, which is not usually how it works. I want to point out. Just so you know that for future reference and just, you know, in general, that is not usually how it works. Usually you only get one of those back per long rest, I believe. 
believe you are correct. It had to be a long yes. rest. Yes, not a short rest. Uh, however, for whatever reason, you you know, once you slept, you felt rested. However, you did not remember jack shit. Um. No, that does. You just did not regain any health. Although you might have been at full health anyway. Sure. Uh, the paladin has a negative one in her wisdom. Yay! So, because <laughs> reasons. Defense, uh, one of mine, we don't I got one. And Some people are not happy. No, no, no. We do. We, we don't want to talk about one but, funny uh, inc incident that involved trying to get the little doggo. It was. I have a doggo. Anywho, this, anyhow, this here is a short little description for uh, you all, just for in-game stuff. Oh, for the exhaustion? No, no it's no, his like character. character. Yeah, he's he's trying to sh since you're seeing oh. him for the first time, give you a little taste, which very nice. Uh, as for the exhaustion, uh, yeah, anybody, anybody who, uh, let's see, let me double check here. So what was your first roll and what was your second roll, Gamma? Because I see the first, 17. My first one was 9. And then okay. My wisdom was so you gain one level of exhaustion. So you're at okay. exhaustion level 1. Uh, your second one, you're fine. So you, okay. you did that one. Uh, Diffie, uh, I will message you. Uh, looks like Nagi got a level of exhaustion but did not lose any of memories it looks like chloe so out of curiosity oof did the out same of curiosity, everybody got tired non-standard non -standard thing could i possibly expend my second wind to get rid of the level of exhaustion Ooh, that's a good question because that might normally it's used for healing when you sleep yes but it is a non-standard thing um, you know what? I will say yes that you're like able to kind of shake off that level of exhaustion oh. by expending your second wind. Thank you. As it as it does basically function as a somewhat of a short rest. You know what I mean? Like a like a standing short rest, but still. I got you. But yeah, I will definitely do that. So now you are no longer exhausted, which means you no longer take penalties on any ability checks. Because I believe that is the effect of level one exhaustion primarily is that or half speed. Disadvantage on ability checks. Yeah. Really disadvantage. We disadvantage. don't want that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Disadvantage. Thank you. Damn you, English. <laughs> Words are hard. They are hard. Words are hard. Uh, DM, it is page 291. Sorry, what is that? Exhaustion, it's page 291. Thank you. To the book! Whoa, ah, 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 ah. Seeing as these things are going to stack, I figured I'd give them the page. Yeah. I had a little uh, card, you know, like the DM card with all the little stats, and, but I don't yep. know where I put the file. And the one that's in the book is not as expansive as I need. Now, do out of curiosity, do I have any information as to the source of why I'm rolling? You f basically feel something come on as the fog ebbs and flows. And so through your past contextual evidence, I think it's safe to uh, the assume. The fog behind me? Or yeah. the fog that we're in? In. It's currently, it's actually thicker down here than it was up above the hole. I'm going to try to walk past all of these people. <laughs> Is 
it's I just mean fair. the rest of you are bigger than me, so I could technically move through your squares. He absolutely like, can. You guys could stop me if you guys wanted. Technically. I'm going to stop you. So you might not be able to, because you only take up the house. <laughs> so as you approach the thing, and as soon as you step on that uh, square, basically, uh, yep. you hear loud rattling from above you, and hundreds of chains with hooks drop from the ceiling. And I do mean hundreds. I try to jump off of the circle? Well, they're not like, the so you definitely can if you'd, if you'd like. The chains drop fast, but they're not over you. They're over the empty areas. The yes, okay, the I pit. they're falling on me. I'm no, 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 no. Sorry, so that's on me. I need to be more specific with that. So I got you. Because I just so said falling like chains. Yeah, so they, they are basically surrounding. They don't cover the bridge. So both bridge exits are still good. But any of the areas over the pit are basically covered in, like, what would basically be a forest of chains. All of which have hooks at the end. And some of which seem to be serrated or barbed. And some of which aren't. The fog, does it go all the way up as far as we can see? It does. Although it doesn't go down into the hole. Do the chains hang below the, the fog? No. The chains stop above you probably by about, well, above you probably by about six or seven feet, but by everybody else a couple feet. So, you know, maybe eight feet off the ground if the ground were level and the hole was considered ground level. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so we are not ground, so we are not in the fog. The fog is above our heads. Sorry, my my bad. So then the the fog goes all the way down to ground level. The chains are in the fog, yes. Okay, and then underneath that this ground level in the hole, it's it's okay. Yes. And the chains progress further into the hole below us. Some of them do, some of them don't. So the ones at the okay. farther edges do, the ones at the closer edges don't. So it okay. almost seems like a a cave top. In it's very designed definitely not a naturally occurring chain formation somebody has an interesting kink <clears throat> also as you get there your uh the light you know from here is kind of shining off of you now as a source of shining and so you're able to see a little bit you see definitely something looming out of the darkness over here Uh, I still have five feet of movement, so I'm just going to finish my movement. Okay. By moving one more. I'm going to walk up to every single one of these people and hand them a piece of paper that tells them my name and I can't talk. <laughs> That sounds good. Uh, so once more, you're closer. Unfortunately, this is bas basically as far as the light from the party extends through the darkness and the chains and the fog. The fog cuts a lot of the chains and fog. I didn't. Sorry. I will get that to you. Did anybody else fail the memory one? That is my bad. I'm just, it's always tough trying to do everything at once. I'm sorry. Which was the wisdom one, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. You got the, you got, you were fine with that. I think the only one who failed the wisdom one was Dippy, unfortunately. Okay. I failed all the things. <laughs> that's okay. This fog doesn't affect me. I don't think that's okay for her, though. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't say what my character's going to do until I know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Tippy-tappy. Oh, yeah. I gotta be typing the tippy-taps to the peoples and then the tappy-tips to the non-peoples. Damn non-peoples. Fuck them non-peoples! Especially for the advanced stuff. But yes, this is uh, already gonna be great. I can feel it. 
I'd be I'd I'd open up my book. Oh, my my book has pages that just have specific Your statements that are questions that are ah. common and everything. So I'm pointing to one that says, "What's your name?" to each of the three people. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's More snuffles. Sam smiles and bows to the girl. Um, what's his name? Samira. If there's something serious going on in the chat, I'll shake each of your hands. Who's dying? If you if you'll return the shake. Valio seems busy. What was that? I, just, I was saying that to Valio. Oh, Valio. Say what? Da, da, da. in character i gotta go silent because of dabs but continue rping and i'll let you know when oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, um i i'm on the other side of the circle um, just kind of waiting to see what you guys are doing. Um, if, if you guys are kind of socializing on your side, I'm just going to sit on the edge of the stone and wait for you. I'll, I'll point at, to the, the who are you or what's your name again, but then quickly point up to Donnie, who's on my shoulder. If uh, anybody knows who who's yeah, this stuff is. Chloe kinda just A little Duncan. strict on Do we Duncan. typically have a friend? We need to get out of this fog. <laughs> I'm just, oh, wait a minute. Are you saying that loud enough that we can hear? Yes. I'm sitting down on the other side, waiting for you all to introduce yourselves. And then I realize as you guys are talking, that you guys are now reintroducing yourselves. <laughs> Edwin, and I'm going to go, we need to get out of the fog. <laughs> Wait, who's that again? I mean, yes, we need to get out of the fog, but we're here to get rid of the source uh, of this fog. Diffie, did you really say O Master? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so then when you so I, the, when you say I who is that? Master. So when you say who is that, I go, Master Skellybones. <laughs> oh, you're Master too? <laughs> No, Sam, that is not Master. That is just some other random adventure that happens to be down here where we are. Oh. Chloe just okay. <laughs> that was, that's good. <laughs> I wink at Chloe. Oh, but she can't see that, so she doesn't know. Fucking halflings. <laughs> Aw, you get mad that this is happening. No, no. I'm just upset that there's two halflings now. That we multiply. Like fucking rabbits. Catholic okay, rabbits. rude. No, in fact, rabbits have nothing on us. Uh, <laughs> and we, Chloe just looked at me. <laughs> you don't. Please don't ask to give more information than that. But it seems to me that that we are all losing ourselves in the mist. We really should either move on or try and find our way out of here. Although I don't remember how I even got here. Frankly, like I said, we're trying to find the source of it. We're trying to find something? Yes, we're trying to find the source of it so we can get rid of it and the fog can go away. There's a source of it. Well, I mean, that, that would make sense. Yeah. 
do we, do we know how to stop the source of it, or are we just planning to break it? Well, do we broke it, or is it snake charms, or if we is it someone who's also in the dark job, or if nothing else, when we're gonna have time to resort to cunning and just stall a bit for things? I I, I tighten the shield on my left arm and go violence. I got gotcha. you. I take a step forward onto the bridge. After standing up, obviously. In which Bill just like, could you at least wait for us? I believe I am waiting on Axel. I bet. I forgot I was muted. Goddamn, I'm dumb. <laughs> <coughs> So once you take that step, did you light a torch or provide any illumination? I don't have one. So no illumination. So once you step up, um, give me a moment. Oh, oh shit. Multiple times. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to everyone's messages. I have like three PMs. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot going on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> They, uh, if they were communicating, I didn't realize that they had PMs that were waiting. Deal with them. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, to you there. Uh, as you uh, go forward, something swings out at you, and you nimbly duck aside, having to take a step back in order to avoid it. So I am back on the pedestal. You are, but you definitely, something literally swung it out at you, and it actually swung all the way there. So you saw that it went all the way over your head and past you when you ducked and backed up. The darkness has teeth and it's full of terrors. It is. It, it does. And also, I will finish those PMs right now, but I'm going to go mute if you want to continue. I that, mean, if it was a swing, it most likely wouldn't make a sound unless it's a very large creature and you hear a whooshing. That's what I'm asking, actually. The... And actually, before you forget, actually, you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roll perception. My, okay, that's what I get for that. Can we all roll perception? <laughs> yeah, we probably all should. I'm interacting with Donnie, I'm not paying attention. Twelve. <laughs> My rolls are crap. <laughs> and that's a twelve, a solid twelve, Bill. Why did you roll two D20s? Because it's, uh, just, uh, remember, one level of um, exhaustion. Oh, oh. that's right. Uh, ah, ah, fuck. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. So it I must have to take suck the lower to, one. Must suck to have yeah. this. Forget a, you, Belios. Forget that's why you. I was <laughs> that's why I was like, um, could I use this ability in a non standard way, maybe? <laughs> I noob over oh, here. Just, <laughs> just enjoying Donnie's company. <laughs> That's probably where your 12 came from. I walked in front of you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those folks of you who are a little bit more religious than I, you guys know anything about chains? There's a lot of chains going on around here. I was, we were kind of, I was investigating it before the thing fog. And then I'm gonna guess that I would be I would have heard that and I would roll religion as well at disadvantage. Ooh, that's butt cheek. Um, I'm bad butt cheek. 
uh, eight butt cheeks. So like four butts worth. That was for the uh, religion, right? Yes. yes. And just the overall dais, correct? The, or just in the in general area? Sorry, I missed what the religion what the religion check was for. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, you're just like, yep, man, those look, uh, those look bad. Bad chains, bad. Because an eight would be less than a regular person. Yep. Yep. Um, where's the light coming from? Currently, from over here where the camp was made, I assume there is a small fire. Basically, in between where Donnie is at, and Donnie is now with her as well. So, where Got Donnie it. was. Uh, just. Do any of you have torches? I'll perk up a little bit and I will pull out a torch. If the fire over there is still lit, I'll light it there. Otherwise, I will use my tinderbox. Gamma, what's your character's name again? Uh, Nera. Alright. Uh, Nera, could you give me a little light up here? Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll light the torch and I will move. Uh, so for further uh, results, the reason that it doesn't light as much as usual is due to the heavy fog. Uh, but a lit torch... For future reverence, in here will give you about 15 or 20 feet of vision ahead of you. Gotcha. Okay. As opposed to what I believe. Yeah, but because I believe yeah, yeah, originally it's, it's 30, which means at 15 you're at half. Yeah, which, which is what I was looking for. for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought I had done it right, but man, those numbers get really hard to remember when you start stacking on different fucking advantages and disadvantages and modifiers. So give me a moment to reveal. I really gotta get that lighting better. But that's also. Just... Oh, what the fuck are you? Wait. Okay. Uh. Nira, you look like you're a melee fighter, right? She nods. Okay. No, uh, she nods, but does like a kinda type thing. Okay. Um. If I got on the other side of this, would you smack it with me? Um, let me see. She she kind of motions like she's already a little bit hurt. But and then she writes in her book, but I can still try and help you. you my gauntleted hand. Okay. Yes, a long rest would set, uh, reset that. It reset everything naturally for your long rest except for your health. Yeah, the healing is a role. Healing is, yeah. uh... Healing is so, uh, fucked up. Balios is asking to borrow the torch real quick. Um, 
10 HP. Ooh. Mm -hmm. She feels very much better about that then. Um, okay. Afterwards, she gives you a little wink and a very large smile um, and turns toward. What, is, what was the skeleton halfling's name again? John, John. Skellingbone. John Skellingbone. Or just John. Or John. <laughs> All right, or John. On, on, to his friends. And his um, dead enemies. I'll tap. I'll tap you on the shoulder, and I'll. I'll do like a really. I'm a tough girl. Thumbs up. Okay. Ready to. Um, ready to go. I walk through this thing. Uh, right before you do that, Donnie's gonna quack. What's up, Donnie? Quack. Okay, I walk through this thing. Okay. So I'm. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna halt him. So, uh, everyone's gonna, gonna listen. That was asked to borrow the torch real well, quick. Well, you gotta remember oh. everyone's also dialoguing now, so even if it's in chat, they might not see it. So you might have to point oh, it out for sorry. people. Remember, everyone's in PMs and chat and talking, so if <laughs> oh, someone God. doesn't notice it right away, you're gonna have to be like, hey. Okay, but yeah, Velios is asking for the torch from Nera. Okay. Um, I would, I would hand. I would hand the torch if you walk up to me. I would. I would hand. The I mean, torch I'm over. right behind you. Yeah, yep. yeah. I'll I'll hand the torch to you. Um, All right. And then, for John Skellingbone, I'm just I'm gonna halt him, and I'm gonna be listening intently to Donnie's quack. Okay. I'll jar, keep the hand the on his flame and first into the jar. He puts. Why are you doing that? <laughs> As being questioned about that, I reveal what I know. What these jars are, saying that they are perpetuating vessels. Any element placed inside is kept active until it is removed. So the thing then lights up with fire. That's what I'm hoping it does. I'm waiting to see what the GM says. The jar flares up with a large fire, roughly, let's say, five feet in height, streaming directly. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the way that this fire is now lit up around a circle. It makes me nervous. Uh, oh no, also, no, no, it's, it's just this <laughs> jar right here. Yeah, just this one. And and then I'm gonna go around and do it to the rest since that's what happened. But I uh, that one went, and also when it happened, a line perpetuated from that one to this one. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, can we take care of this thing first? Or, or do we want to really light up this, this circle? Yeah, I'm gonna agree with So, you I'm gonna go to this one here, and I'm gonna do the same to this one. Alrighty, I need to pull up the page. So they are all lit up, uh, now they do light up with fire and burst high into the air. Uh, but no lines appear on the ground. Hmm. Interesting. Well, good news, we got flaming jars. Okay. Yay, master. I, I point at the big, huge chain beast in front of us. It's time to take this one down. What is that? While I'm praying. I don't know. I don't think anyone's ever done it. I don't think I did a perception check to see what it is. Crack. And, uh, yeah, nobody has done any perception check at all to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm I'm... Right now. <laughs> it's big, it's um, big, and it swung at me. I'm going to hit it. I, mean, it's fair. I don't care what it is. It's also if someone fair. else makes the check and tells me to stop, that's different. 
Well, I just rolled an 18 for perception check to see what it is. Okay, well, perception-wise, which is always a fun thing, because to see if you know what it is, right? That, well, that's to see, and then it yeah, that knowledge. that's that's what I was thinking, right? <laughs> that's I, I I love having more people who uh, do DME stuff because it helps to like balance my thoughts. Where I'm like, am I just thinking overthinking this, or yeah, does no. this is a double check? But yeah, no, you, so yeah, usually you the monsters it's things like history and, and uh, religion, arcane religion, arcana, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of ones you can honestly put them under, but oh, yeah. it's usually perception. I'd then tell you what it looks like. Yep. And so, so the creature before yes. you stands at a large height. Uh, it, you know, it takes up two spaces if, uh, it, if it were to be put into a categorically numbered real so world. So is it large? It's large. It's big. It is as big as it's, it looks. So it is taking up a three by three area. Oh, okay, so it is huge. Sorry, it's huge, sorry. My bad. It's been a bit, and... Or no, it's supposed to be large, sorry. Then it is too big, because it's supposed to... The, the bridge is supposed to be... Two yeah, by two, so, so it is... Large. Yeah, sorry. So it's the picture is just not sized right. That is my apologies. Honestly, you know, that's, that's my... For my nature roll. Woohoo! Uh, but take the lowest, sadly, because this is an ability check. It is. Not any, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, at this point, how many times have we gotten a nat 20 with this character? And how many times we have been physically, I think, Valium <laughs> as a character is done with this shit little tiny shit? Yeah. I'm Correct. just done with all tiny little shits. Fuck. <laughs> also true. <laughs> okay, so John Skeleton moves through the, through the monster. I'm still trying to hold him back. Alrighty, and Please. I assume... Why are we holding me back? Because, what the heck? Because we don't know what this thing is. As well as, the DM has to tell me what the heck I got from that 16. And that's a religious check, I assume? No, nature. 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 Uh, this thing is unnatural, actually. And I was going to pull out a scroll, cast guidance on myself real quick, and try and make a religion check on it. Please. And also, I assumed uh, uh, just okay. Sixteen. Yeah. So while Nira's. Yeah, because you guys are taking technically actions at the same time here, because we haven't rolled for initiative oh, gotcha, or combat. Gotcha. Yeah, we haven't technically started, which we sh probably should have as soon as the swing happened. That's my bad. I was uh, trying to get through I those messages. Fair enough. Oh. You want me to roll initiative now? Yeah, let's have everyone roll initiative. That way we determine what this all happens in what order. <laughs> is initiative considered an ability check? Or are we at disadvantage on this? I don't think initiative is an ability check. I feel like that's... Okay. It is not. Yeah, I, I didn't like... think so, but... I, funny I enough, I think initiative is not called a check at all. Yeah, it's it's just like a roll. Initiative roll. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if, a, if I, I believe if a halfling was to roll one on initiative, it keeps it. I think so. Because it's not technically a check. Right. It's not a check for armor, and it's not a check for save, and 20 for gamma, so yeah, he's going to get to do his piece first. God damn it. Too many god damn pages. Sometimes in the actual, like, entry in the monster manual, it'll sometimes tell you what skill um, that it would prefer you roll. It does, um, but I gotta get the act See, that's why I wish I had a better idea of the... It's not even that. I On my one website where I was hosting them, it has a really easy way to move through it because it has, like, the contents on the left or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How it's all supposed to be in a good PDF file. This yeah. other PDF fucking goddamn file motherfucking piece of shit does not have that because it's a piece of shit and yeah so trying to find things is a little bit tougher there we go all right that way i can see but i think i'm pretty sure from my uh memory that it uh 
this one should be under this and they one for one of you luckily did the right check I learned by fighting <laughs> And studying. Deval. Hip yeah. Nothing has changed. Nope. You've missed nothing. You've missed nothing. Nothing has changed. Although I want to now do this since we've done that, and it's if if I've done oh, it right. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh wait, no. Chloe already did. Never mind. Didn't see the initiative roll for Chloe. I'm at a twenty-four. Why was I moved? That is my apologies. I did not mean to move you. I was trying to. Put, put people on the list. Put people on the list. Give them I cannot interns. put myself on the list. No, it's something that I wish you people could do, and they can't, and they should be able to. Why is Chloe the only one that has a name? Yes. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm, I'm in a bit, yes. I, I'll be uh, right I out. Am I in? Okay. Yeah. Double right. your character token. I'll be right back. I literally got to go back up the car because apparently someone else is parking. But, yeah. How dare they park? How dare they? You, For now, though, you can add... On? You should be able to add your uh, initiative to the list, though. So, like, I am Michael... not on the initiative list. Okay, let me add you. You're probably the last one, I think, that needs to be added to the list. And then go move your car. Yep, That's and I'll be right back. Aha! <laughs> I thought that was the big event when I said until you see here. I, I thought you caught on to what I had said in the nope. jokey manner. Um, it, uh, she is he, uh, she is all for di uh, diplomacy until she pulls out a witch bolt. She's a paladin warlock. No. That... Wizard or sorcerer? No. Yes. Whoever's a sorcerer, yes. Yeah. Go gamble. Because I think Witch Bolt is only for sorcerers and warlocks. Maybe wizard, but no, I think Witch because... Bolt too. Let me see. Because I think Witch Bolt is a sorcerer. Let me see. Let me look. Diplomacy. Let's see. Warlock. Has Witch okay, Bolt. Okay, yep. Sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards. Wizard, yep. I should try out Chaos Bolt. I love Chaos Bolt on, on Sorcerer. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do it. But uh, given how much. Just don't. Just. If you get a time, uh, get a moment after the game is done. Just go through the character and you know. If you got a 19, Chloe got a 16. And me and Vane. Uh, uh, Vane, I have a higher bonus to my initiative. I think I go first. No, it's based off of dex. I have a plus five. Yeah, you're know. above me. Gotcha. With a 20. Yeah, with that 24. You beat me by one. Hi, 23. Uh, your dex roll is 1d20 plus 5, isn't it? It is. And that would be that roll there, which is 24. I bet you I looked at you, I bet I looked at your roll and put your number in for me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, I can move the or turn order. Oh, that makes it so much easier. You got a powerful 16 right there.
right now is a sucky time to be a mute character. Because <laughs> being able to talk would be helpful in this situation. I like the I like the image for Nira because it makes it looks like she's dancing. Yeah, she's supposed to be super cute. I just finished that today. She's supposed to be like a, a nice, bubbly kind of person. And yet, and yet. Uh, me and me and John have the same back background trait. <laughs> Military? Uh, no, the uh, the background, the 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 features thing that you oh. posted earlier. Oh no, that would be Vane. Oh, that's Vane. Oh, Valios. And I was Valios. gonna say, where where are we all getting Vane? <laughs> Valios. Me and Valios have the same. Background trait. I thought it, I thought it said vain. No, it is Valios. Yeah, I'm sorry. Back, background trait. Really how do you how do you know my background trait? You posted it. Yeah. Oh. So and because have, I have, have because I have the one. same one, I know what it is. Yeah. Oh shit. So sorry about that. Uh, so, I'm first, although I don't know where the chain thing goes. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly grab Samira's character, pick her up, and, like, move her back over here. So she's out of way of possible harm. Fair. So if Axel wants to move her over there, that'd be great. She was struck down by thunder. Well, hopefully she doesn't go much further, because then she'll be struck down by fire. Yeah. Well, I I was going to place her right over Over there? Okay, sorry. Yeah. I only saw the topmost part of the ping or whatever, the bottommost part of the ping, so it's like, all right, it's over here. And, uh, yeah. So you obviously using your move through because you're a halfling are able to move through that without provoking an attack of opportunity and now have technical flanking, I think. I don't know if they have to be melee adjacent because technically... So just... I'm going to go ahead and shoot myself in the foot um, because I'm able to move through their square, but I don't ignore attacks of opportunity. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that true? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Forgot about that. No, I thought everyone wants to say halflings then, are broken as hell, but if you run them right, they're really not. And with my war warcaster ability, I'd like to cast hold person on on John. Uh, Why? I can make it through perfectly fine. You can. Yes, I can. Yeah, I said he you said can. you can. I'm going to give him flanking. Look, I, I have to let him use his spell the way he wants to use his spell yeah, to contest. Yeah, so I go to move, and if he's going to cast Hold Person on me, then I guess he's going to cast Hold Person on me. What do I need to roll to make him burn a spell? Because I know it's resistible. Uh, it wisdom save. And what is your DC again? Should be Nat 15, 20. 16. Oof. Fight it. Yep. Oh, Alright, he right. rolls through enough, and takes enough. his attack of opportunity. I growl at Nira as I, as I move through. <laughs> Because I know right. who cast it. There is there is concern in Nira's eyes. I run through the chain. I get to the other side. Ma go ahead and make her attack of opportunity. I am definitely making it. I had to look for this. All right, that's not bad there. And then I get my second. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank God for the fucking... Uh. Wait, I need to double check that. Cause... Everyone, cr everyone cringes as I do it. I get that. 
I, I'm I'm playing Nera. I would probably be totally about like as a person. I want to fight this thing. <laughs> as Nera, I'm trying to protect you. I get ya. <laughs> Oh, I have a plan. Famous last words. I know, that is all To be fair, to be fair, I can totally see that happening of as I start to move, Nira's like, old person. I'm like, Rrr. I continue anyways, and Chloe's like, but we don't have a plan, and, I, and as I'm disappearing into chains, I have a plan. Man, if all... <laughs> Wait. It's all in character. How much, how much movement do you have? Aren't you at 25 feet? Are you at half movement there. right now with your without your dog? No, my natural movement is twenty five. He was at half movement in the little light. Oh, I was moving it... slowly, so I yeah. didn't gotcha. so I didn't get in danger. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, He's being okay. cautious. Uh, but I'm getting on the actually. Other side of this guy. You are, but if you didn't leave his reach, you, you do get... not provoke an you attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. You should be good. Okay. So it's attack of opportunity only when you leave. Uh, striking range of said creature. Yes. I don't know. I. I you also. I yeah. You also don't, don't know his striking range. <laughs> Either way. So I get. I go through. I get to the other side. I'm now. They're not threatening there we go. him. Sorry. Let me make he... this guy the way he's supposed to be. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Because Nira's not close enough. I don't get flinking from her. So I'm just going to attack him normally. Alrighty. Well. Do. do... I have to be within my melee distance, or do I? You have, have to be, be threatening him. Yeah, him. you have to be within threatenable distance, which is also gotcha. why I wondered because I'm like, well, if you have a spellcaster, doesn't that or a ranged attack isn't threatenable distance? You know, like sixty yeah. feet. But yeah. it's 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 I, kind I of. I do believe it specifically states you have to be within five feet of the creature. Gotcha. Okay. All right, and so, just uh, just for future reference. Yep. For anyone who is wondering. What, 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 what was eh? Don't worry about it. I don't see what happened eh. Oh, Ducko moved? Nah, something Ducko happened. Got out of the way? Ducko did get out of the way, but uh, that, was, that was earlier. I did oh, not left my shoulder. No. Oh, oh, you added them in. Got it, got it. Yeah, they're okay. in the turn order. So I'm going to attack him know. with my rapier. Alrighty. Um, it's three. Because my... my... My bonus is three. I'm using dex, which is five, so that's plus eight. And then I have a bonus because I'm a duelist and I'm only using one. Um, I'm only using one weapon, so I get a. It's either to damage or to to hit. I can't remember. I think it's to damage. Yeah, it's to damage. Okay, so plus eight to to hit on first roll. Ooh. Oh, Twenty three. Right. Half length. Yep. Fuck. And that then should on definitely the second be roll, it's a 10. So I'm sure I don't hit on the second no, one. No, but you do hit on the first one, obviously. On the I mean. first one, 13 points of damage. Alrighty. And as I get to the other side, I do damage to him. I... I I yell across the chain demon pile on. That isn't, and you can hear Chloe say, that isn't a plan! Yeah, it is. Totally well, a plan. We're going with it. I feel like plans happen ahead of time. Which you love to Bayless. <laughs> you don't get to talk here. You do not get to talk about plans and doing them on the field. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Because you don't remember anything. <laughs> I also it's forgot. I forgot about this, so I'm not gonna do it for that move. But for the next person's turn, they're gonna have to. Uh... Make make uh, deck saves for tripping and sh stuff like that. No, uh, which is valueless. Now uh, they're gonna have to make a different save because uh, 
as you look at the uh, the Chain Devil, Velios, you see uh, one of your bitter enemies and uh, a, a powerful bitter enemy from your past, and you must uh, now succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Against fear? It's part of the oh, wisdom speech. saving throw, huh? Chloe, we got this. <laughs> That's a fail. That is. Ooh. And so you, unfortunately, are frightened until the end of its turn. Oh, no, your turn. <laughs> so the end of your... You're fi frightened until the end of your turn. Sorry. Which means oh, you, no. your turn just ends. Pretty much, yeah. You're, in, you're basically you past it. Oh, my God! Yes! Yes! No, 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 no. Remember. So you get three roll ones. <sighs> what was the second roll already? So she still takes two. Yo. Plus. Uh, guess who's afraid? Very, very oh, afraid. I have to make a roll too? Uh, anybody who starts their turn and can see him. Now. And is within 30 I, feet. And John Skellingbo didn't because I forgot. That's my bad. Now, I just, I, I just DM'd you something. Would oh, let me I check. know that? Or. Uh, I think it's something it that. Hold it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's when a creature the devil can see starts its turn within 30 feet. So, oh, so just no matter what. Yeah, if gonna... I can see okay. you, yeah. Gotcha. So, but you, yes. My turn, I've got to make one. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. If you're within 30 feet. Yeah. <coughs> I'm within 30 feet. So on your next turn, like I said, I I messed up and did not uh, apply that because it's at the very end of the. You figure things that yeah. start at the beginning of the turn should start at the beginning of the description. That's not how it goes. They do not. Yeah. And he's been chilling to react to. Is it still Velios' turn? No, my my I can't oh, okay. do anything. So it's mine then. Yes. Which is it a wisdom save? Yes. It is. So you should be in good shape. Oh, that's I pretty want... good. Seven, uh, Sixteen. You uh you see a uh, image of one of your long lost departed loved ones, but you're you know you're wise enough to understand that it's merely an illusion cast by the creature. Come on, Nero. Gotcha. Come on, Nero. Okay, so um I will start by let's see where's my face. I'm gonna start by I'll bring my oh shoot threw a dice across the room. Um, I do that every time. I'll start by bringing up my shield and pulling out my mace. Um, I will... <laughs> I will back away a little bit. <laughs> You're back away? Jeez. I need you close! And then... Okay, 25 feet. Bonus action. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Oh, nice. Ooh, I like this it. plan. I'm going to place it right there. How do you ping? Uh, you uh, hold. Oh, what? Ooh, ooh, I can do it too. Yeah, you just okay, hold. Okay, I'm cool. Uh, I'm cool. So, yeah, I'll just place it right there. It'll be a, a large, a large uh, long sword. Uh, copper or not copper uh iron iron blade with like a bronzish handle and hilt leathery has a little bit of a blue gem encrusted in the in the scabbard um and i will take an attack on him because it's within five feet of him so is that just a is that a melee spell attack or or is that or melee attack? Yeah, melee spell attack. Uh, yep. Melee spell. When you cast cool. a spell, you make a melee spell attack against a creature. Yep. And that is at disadvantage, right? Because I'm exhausted. Uh, no. no. One level of a disadvantage doesn't apply to attacks. I think that is gotcha. two it's levels. Just abilities. Yeah, okay. just ability checks. Which is why one okay. is annoying but not impossible. Whereas two or three levels of exhaustion, you're just fucked. So that's a 18 to hit then. That should be good. Okay. Should definitely be good. Let's see how much 
I'm doing. And then we actually have to mark off where we're actually going to spell. Um, 1d8 for my spell casting modifier. That's going to be 11 points of damage. Alrighty. And, um, and that was a bonus action. What are your spell casting rules? If I did a second level spell at bonus, that was a specifically a bonus action, are you cool with me still doing like a first level cantrip as my uh, You action? should be able to, yeah, because okay. a bonus action is your bonus action. It doesn't, shouldn't have to be taken after your main action. Right. Uh, right, right, right. At least, okay. I've, so at least how I've some, always played it. Some DMs are very like old school sticklers where you cast one spell a turn, that's it. Right. Whereas I why, mean, that's, but that's, that's but the new rules have allowed for yeah. more spell casting. Like in the old rules, you could only cast one spell a turn. One because they were so strong that you yeah. know one fireball blew up a whole fucking party of. Fucking... But yeah, yeah no, like you are one hundred percent correct. That's I, I'm just I'm assuming that's why. No, you're no, asking, yeah, yeah, no, and I've some, I've definitely been there too. Still like yeah. that even in five E. Oh yeah, which is God forbid you know five E already has enough issues with weird troubles of. It's not like bad. It's just like sometimes the characters are too strong, and sometimes the monsters are too strong. It's getting that perfect I'm at balance. Five feet. Okay, so I was I went five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and I have to move myself up right here, so that people within thirty feet of me, I'm going to be casting bless. Okay. Everybody has bless. Uh, so that gives us advantage on fear saves. It, it gives you. It gives you, whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw until the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add it to the number rolled. It's a pretty nice buff because it's uh, up to one minute, so it's like six rounds of a yeah. plus four buff to anything you roll. You can do it multiple times a turn. You can do yeah, that. Cool. You know, you can do that for your attack roll and then your save, and you know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter. Is it a static plus four or is it you roll a d4? You got to roll the d4 every yeah, every time. Every yeah. time. Which it's once per turn? It's every time you roll an attack or a, a saving throw. Yep. Gotcha. So, okay, so, thank you. Like so both attacks. your attack rolls, and then if you have to make the saving throw for the fright, and you can do that. Gotcha. Yep. Um, uh, I'm going to pull this in here, if I can. And this is going to be my spiritual weapon. Okay. That is a, that is now, it's, it is you. <laughs> I just that imagine that in my head, though, even though I know it's not. It's you just like a little to, uh, version of you that's a weapon. You, sh you should be able to click it, and the little logo just underneath it, the little circle, you should be able to put a mark on it. Oh, okay. Like I said, there's things on this. It's oh, just... Yeah. Uh, they're not very... I've been experimenting. Like, if you look on mine, you can actually see my current health. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. You can add... And that's... We usually uh, do green health. I think it's... What is it? Blue armor and then red... Uh, as our attack value although it doesn't translate well because realistically you're supposed to just put them all into the character sheet and the character sheet have has the built-in macro that's supposed to work yep god forbid anything ever works the way it's supposed to work though i'm putting a little circle up there to know i have blessed for right now that is also one thing i like about that because that is what those little circles are for they actually have a bunch of little like dead little heart yeah. for chain you know what i mean just different shit Yay. Chemical for poison, snail for slow or exhausted. Yeah. Ooh, it's his turn next. All right, cool. I am done. Alrighty. And sad, I need to make sure to double pull that. Does it scare itself? That is a good. You know, technically, oh, it does. No. It can't see itself. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> There's no mirrors. You pull out a mirror, and it might scare itself. <laughs> Although I think it might have advantage against the banjo I, I bet you were somewhere on there it says immunity to fear. You'd be surprised. Oh yeah, possibly immunity to being frightened, yeah. It's a good thing I have it right here. I can double check. Either way, we forgot the whips. He's bringing the chains. Let's do this. Get kinky. All right. Perfect. 
All right, so uh, immediately upon this thing's turn, it uh, basically it, it like lets out a noise and six chains from that are basically the closest ones surrounding the circle here and two at the edge here uh, seem to like get longer edges and barbs and begin to move on their own and uh, I like any of that. no I wouldn't I wouldn't if I were you <laughs> we need to take this thing down quick Anyway, or we need to leave. Uh, my character can't actually say that. Nope. No, no. That's one of the things about the game. That's why certain uh, certain player is, things is, are great. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on the chain. Donnie, okay. you get the chain. So uh, <laughs> it swings wildly and like m misses misses at you for its first one. Who who misses who? Uh, this at uh, sorry the. Uh, the devil swings wildly at John, uh, missing very badly and basically spinning all the way around. Great, I repost. Alrighty. Nice. That is a very good I use good my reaction and I spend one superi superiority die and I make a melee attack against the creature. If I hit, I add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. Yep. And you get a so, D4 to that attack. I do. Yes. <laughs> so my superiority die is a 5. I'm going to roll my attack which is a d20 plus 8. Oh, yes. Plus d4, so that's 23 to hit. Yes. Nice. And then my damage is normally a d8 plus 7. So that's 11 plus the 5 I rolled earlier. That's 19 points of damage. Alrighty. Oh, damn it. This is why I hate turning him upside down. Wait. That's weird. Okay, sorry. So the mm, health thing wasn't <laughs> popping up for a second. I thought it was like oh. under it or for a second. I was like, why is it like not showing me my health, man? Ooh, I'm sorry. Give me one second here. Okay, no. I, I had to roll advantage because I have flanking. I didn't roll a net 20. It didn't matter. Fair, right. You had the 19. You have no point. Gotcha. I was like, well, you could roll it, but right, you got the 19. There's no point. Well, I mean, if I rolled a nat 20, then it would, you know, it, it'd have some sort of yeah. effect, but it doesn't, so. Yeah. It's it's unfortunate. Uh... <clears throat> okay, so he, hits, he misses me with the first attack. And then he takes 19 points of damage. Yes. Uh, and then, well, he he can't actually do anything because he fucked up that first attack pretty bad. So now he's facing this way, looking at this, like, floating sword, long sword. Gotcha. And uh, you just hear Donnie quack. And... Hello, then, uh, sorry, it's not quite actually. There are four, uh, sorry, four six chains? chains. Sorry, it was six chains. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah. That are currently two down here. And then four up top. Nice. And uh, <clears throat> this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh boy. So what is there... That's one thing it doesn't really give a good example of. That's something that really I feel like should be touched on in the fucking description. It is definitely not. Immunity to all fort saves. Yep. That's what I thought. Are there fort saves in 5e? Uh, not technically, because it's not for it, but it's, like I said, I, d I designed his, his thing off of an old 3-5 class. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah. 
in any case, uh, you know, we're going to take a sw couple more swings at Mr. Skullingbone with the chains, which are not the actual chain devil. They're just chains hanging from the ceiling. I'm cool with this. Ooh. I allow it. Ooh. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I allow it. <laughs> so the first one uh, hits. And now the, this is the fun part. And when you know I say scary, when it hits a 19. Yeah. It's uh, it's it hit naturally 19 too. That's the sad part. I, to be fair, then I rolled a one. <laughs> on the next attack, so the next attack is going to give you a chance to repose the, the chain. Uh, you can only repose or oh, uh, parry once per right. Turn. You can only you have the one reaction. reaction. Right. I yep. forgot about that. Well, lucky for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunate uh, for you. And I'm trying. There it is. All right, top left, right. Okay. So that is going to be. 12 slashing damage and you are grappled by the chain you can escape the chain grapple but as of having a successful attack part of the t attack is it grapples you okay. and so you'll have to escape I believe I don't know if you can escape as a reaction or as a no, well you I couldn't anyway because I think it's it. an action yeah I think it is get out of the grapple I believe you are correct. So yeah, you are now grappled. Uh, yeah, and until yeah, until the grapple so, ends, you're restrained. As as, and as long as as oh. long as you're grappled, you have a speed of zero. That is what happens. Yeah. Okay. Because it's not like you're being held hostage. You're just being held in place, basically, like someone holding like wrestlers. You know what I mean? Just holding each other in place. It's like you don't have an advantage. They're just like trying to hold on to you. You could have the advantage over them with a good grapple check. Uh, and then the other one attacks and wildly misses and hits the chain devil. All right, and that's the two over there. So now there are four over here. Uh, one is going to try and attack Velios. It is coming from, just for reference, it is coming from over here. It's hanging basically right here. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, kill me. It was uh, very close. How about that? Take 18 points of damage. Cool. And you're grappled. You can't move. TPK! Let's do this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forget about your absolute... Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, by the way, that bar, Michael, no one else can see that. I just want to let you know for context. So, like... I'm the only one who can see that. You and me. Uh-huh. Just so you know. I see the duck. Uh -huh. That is all I need to know. Speaking of the duck, guess who's getting attacked by the chain next? Quack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Donnie Duckle. Donnie. Uh, Donnie is constricted by the chain, and you, you see them constrict quite tightly, actually, as Donnie coughs blood and says, Quack! And, uh, yeah, that's Donnie for you. And... Oh, two more people. Chloe. Let's see. Uh... How are you guys rolling 2d20? You, you have to, yeah, you have to enter it or use the, uh, dice roller on the side to, like, put 2d20s. Uh, Chloe, I, uh, hate to say this. Let me double check the plus. Yep, 
And you are also hit unless you have a current plus to your armor that I'm unaware of from your base. Because I always forget that because it doesn't bless on people currently. But that's just the D4. That's for saves, not for armor, right? Mm. Or, or does anyone have any auras or anything? Because bless one D4. It's just the bless, yeah. Yeah, that is un unfortunate. I, uh, unless, unless I use my reaction to with you know war cap. Can cast a spell. You definitely can cast a reaction or a preemptive spell thing with that, I believe. I'm gonna double check, but I do believe you can, because that's the whole point of being warcaster is to you know not be stuck in slow mode. Yeah, you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack to cast a spell that has a casting time of one action and targets only that creature. Quack. People must be kept on their toes. Uh, speaking of, that is going to be... Six, nine for damage uh, for Jewel, and she is also grappled. Wait a minute, but I have a question. Warcap. Oh, right, you still have to do your preemptive. Do your spell cast, my good one. Tiny healing lady. Awesome! I figured it out. I know how to roll advantage and disadvantage. Hey! Well, I know how to roll advantage. Now, how do I save those? So, in the, uh, god damn it, where's my thing? Because I have one where I can Macros see it. got it. Yep. Okay. And it's, they're fairly easy, and you can add them as buttons on the screen. That's why I like them. If I had to type them in every time, no, hell no. Okay, that'll definitely give some changes to the rolls. Because it'll give disadvantage to all attack. One success. Yeah, and actually I believe you just get that. Because if I remember correctly... 60 feet plus 2 TD. Oh, wait, no. It is still technically a spell attack. Oh, wait. Ray of Frost? Okay, yes, but Ray of Frost does not actually change... Won't any, change any of the Devil's Roll. Or the Chain Roll. I was thinking, for whatever reason, I was thinking of the one uh, Diffie uses, which is the one you don't have to hit with. But more importantly, it's... Uh... And what the hell? Frostbite. That's the one I was thinking of. Because it gives uh, disadvantages on the next weapon attack roll. So wait, one more time, you were a bit quiet there. <laughs> then the elite out of character. Which teams are, uh, are an extension of it? Um, are they, if she attacks them, is it with a disadvantage? Is she a sprite? Uh, well, you should only be, if, oh, you have to be frightened until your next turn, don't you? Or until its next turn. It's oh, the end of, well, no, you should be fine then. It was until the end of its turn, so you shouldn't be frightened anymore. Oh no, it's turn is still go No, it's turn yeah. isn't going actually. The chains are technically their own entities. Oh. 
right it it it's weird it controls the chains but the chains are animated objects similarly to like animated chairs you know what i mean or animated objects as well yes so it, like they they are cast by the chain devil and he can control them at will but they are like their own entity with their own hit points and their own ac and shit so she's not frightened anymore. no she should not be frightened anymore i don't believe because it's technically the chain's turn i guess that's how i view it because the, the devil's done everything he can do in his list at least the one i gave him but, but it makes me question because if i'm reading uh, see and that's why you gotta stop metagaming yeah.